Hello, and welcome to the final part of the sixth episode of Ukulele Jam Kit. In the past three weeks, we've been working on creating an Irish-inspired jam around the tune The Marmot by one of my favorite bands, Stark Raving Plaid. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, we covered a chord progression, we covered a couple scales, and we also worked on a strum pattern that really is going to be used today to create this jam track. So if you haven't seen those, check them out in the links down below. Now today we're going to be learning the opening melody of the Marmot, which is going to act as our riff, and we're going to be playing it along with a very special jam track because we've got the band making our jam track. More about that in just a moment, but very, very excited about this. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the riff looks like, and something like this. Now you can see it might look a little confusing at first, and the reason it looks confusing is because there are all these symbols, there's all this stuff going on, but let's break it down. The very first bar, you'll notice actually isn't the first bar, it's what's called a pickup bar, or an anacrusis. Uh, and all that this means is that the melody, in this case, comes in before the band starts to play. So when we count this in, those last two eighth notes, on the, or the first two eighth notes rather, at the very beginning, are going to be the last two eighth notes of our count in. So when we count one and two and three and those last two notes are going to be four and, and then we start the riff. And you'll notice that we go all the way through the riff, we do measures one, two, three, and four, and then there are those little repeat symbols, and they go back to measure one where those repeat symbols are again, and then it just keeps going over and over and over. So that little pickup bar, we only need to worry about the first time, and then we ignore it. So it seems a little confusing, but I think as you play it, you'll get it pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how to play it. We're going to start with our C major scale that we, we worked on in a previous episode here. We're going to play 0, 2, 0, 1, 3. That's just our C major scale walking up to 3 on the E string. And then from here, which is the end of measure 1, now we're going to play 3, 2, 0, which is just the C major scale starting at the top and now walking back down. So we're going to go 3, 2, 0, and then we're going to go back up to two, and then we're going to go to three on the E. And then from here, we're going to go to a different scale. So we talked about that F Lydian scale in the earlier episode in part B. So we're going to march our fingers all the way up and we're going to do the F Lydian scale descending. So we're gonna take our pinky, place on eight on the A, play that, then seven, and then five, and then we're going to play seven on the E string, with the ring finger. So we have eight, seven, five, seven. And then we're going to go back to our C major scale. So we just departed to go up high for that melody line with F Lydian. Now we're going back to our C major and we're gonna go down to three on the E string, then two on the A, then three on the A, and open on the C twice. Now what's really cool is at the end of this, measure four, it plays zero and two. That's the same as the pickup bar, which just starts the whole thing over again. So really, really slowly, it should look and sound something like this, starting with the pickup bar and then working through the repeats. It should be something like. And then you see it's zero two, so we start all over again. Pretty cool, right? It's not actually that complicated, but it does go pretty fast. One quick tip is when you're playing that seven on the E string, which kind of ends our Lydian section, that ring finger just slides down to three on the E. And if you get that slide sound, it actually sounds pretty good. It's okay to use slides, both to make things easier and to make things sound a little bit cooler. So using our C major scale, F Lydian, that's how we play that riff. I would suggest pausing the video and practicing this a few times. You can find a download of the PDF over at my Patreon page linked down the description below, because now we're going to go on to the jam track and it goes very quickly but man, does it sound cool. So this is what it sounds like now with the full backing track. Special thanks to the band Stark Raving Plaid. They actually made a backing track for this video and I think it sounds so good. So enjoy, sounds something like this. One, two, three.
And there you have it, our Irish-inspired jam kit based on the tune, The Marmot. If you'd like to check out more music by Stark Raving Plaid, be sure to check out their website as well as their Facebook, which are both linked down below. And if you'd like to download this backing track that we are just playing with, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Every month I make new lessons over there, and it's thanks to all of my patrons I'm able to do this. So if you're a patron, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time on the final, well, not final, but on the next episode of Ukulele Jam Kit. And uh, I'll see you then. Thanks so much.